Hey guys, this is Darren from Reef Secrets. Um, this is my home tank Sky Reef. So I've just had my first Kerosene roll front run out and so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change this roll and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do the Clarice roll. So um, it's only fit in there with like a, a bit of pipe, flexible pipe to the unit. So it's quite easy to move. So today I'm just going to loosen this, lift this up a bit, pull it out and change the roll. It's pretty simple. Here's my roll. Got it from Reef Secret Aquariums, of course. So let's do this. Okay, so we've now got the Clarice unit out of the tank. So, and it was pretty simple to do. Um, like I said, mine just has a, a fitting that just loosely pushes into this. So I just lifted it up a bit and it was easy to get out. It's got a little fitting on the end and there's enough flexibility in that to just sort of lift it up. Okay, so I've now removed the roll from the unit and I'm just going to remove the dirty roll from the motor. So I've removed the nut that was up in there and then the motor just sort of pulls out. Okay, so there, I've just pulled the motor out. It's nice and dry. Um, so now I'll just take the roll off. Um, so for me, I find just getting a razor blade and just continually running along the paper like that until it's all um, just comes off. So that's how I found the easiest way to get it off so far. So if you've got any tips or better ways to get it off there, just let me know. But this should only take me another minute or two. Um, yeah, easy way to get it off. Okay, so two minutes later, or well not even, um, it's completely empty. So now I'll just proceed to run the, put the motor back in it obviously, and then run the new one through the Clarice and connect up the motor. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I'm just going to feed this just on the inside here. It goes to the bottom. So while you've got it out of your tank, now's the perfect time to just do a little bit of maintenance check on it. So this thing here, which drains the water that comes from your tank, um, I'm just gonna give this a bit of a clean out before I put it back in the tank. But it's a good idea to remove this before you run your Clarice roll back up to the motor. Um, now it's pretty straightforward, you just use your hand and you just kind of push it around. There's a roller on both sides. Well, sorry, I'm just trying to get my camera focus. There's a roller on both sides, like that side and that side. So while you're doing it, if you can lift it up slightly and gain a little bit of access from underneath, it's super easy to just feed it straight down, push it back up, feed it through. Then you grab it where I've got it now and then push it back up. Leave the tape on there as it does make it a little bit easier to pull it up. Okay, so we're at the stage now where I've got it to here. So I just drag it manually. Give myself about um, that much length. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut a little corner out so that we can use that to feed into here to lock it in. So with my scissors, I just cut a little square out of the corner. Um, just makes it easier to fit it into that. Okay, so I'm doing this one handed, but I basically lift that up, feed the extra bit that after I cut that off um, under there. And then when you let it go, it sort of locks in and then you just sort of give it a little bit of a wind up. And then I'll reinstall the motor and connect it all up and make sure it's lined up again. Make sure when you have this thing set up and you put it back on here, that you have this adjusted perfectly so that there isn't stress on this. Um, when it turns, it wants to just sit there. It doesn't want to be sitting at an angle and if you let it drop all the way down, it kind of does. So just make sure you set that up properly when you're setting it up. 
Okay, so I put obviously pushed the motor back into it. While you're putting it in, twist it gently so these little rubber rolls are not um, twisted by any way. Get it in, screw that in. Okay, so once you've got the motor back in it um, and you've fed that onto there, just make sure you roll it up and then put it back into here ensuring that little thing goes to the bottom and it locks into this slot and then like I said as you tighten it up make sure that when this thing is sitting on here it's not like pushing on that and not hanging on it just sitting there nicely so yeah that's simple you just once it's screwed in nice and straight uh, there it's done all I do is Go clean this quickly, stick it back in, and reinstall it in the sump. Super easy. So there, she's ready to go back into the sump. Okay, so I've got a little tip for you. The higher up you can put your clarity out of the water, the longer your sock is gonna last. So what we've got here is a medium, skimmer stand um, I just got this one from Reef Secrets and then I just put that on the bottom and then I just put my clarity roll on top of it and it makes it sit at about that level there just above where it's coming in okay so it's put back in the sump now we've got the water coming back into it um, so it will slowly build up with a bit of dirt and eventually this water level rises to about there and then as soon as it gets any dirtier that float switch back there gets pushed up, um, turns on the motor and we have a new roll being rolled down and this is where the water escapes out the side here and it just allows water to escape easier for a while till it gets blocked up again and then that goes off again and so forth so forth and that's how the clarity filter, filter socks filter rolling filter sock things work they're pretty sweet um, I've had mine for about three months now and it is hands down one of the best things I've added to my tank I love it in fact, my, even my skimmer works better with this thing.